Police are looking for more than one suspect in a murder on Milwaukee's north side. Family members tell us Jay Rowe was shot and killed as his four children looked on. They say two strange men rang the doorbell about 6.30 in the morning on Thursday. One of Rowe's children opened the door. There was a struggle and Rowe was killed. His pastor says the 48-year-old father tried to save his child. And the father apparently struggled to get the son free, and in the process, they shot him. Roe and his family immigrated from Burma a few years ago. The children's grandparents moved to Milwaukee just days ago to be closer to their grandkids. Charges have been filed against a suspect accused of shooting a Wauwatosa police detective. 20-year-old Najee Harmon is charged with attempted homicide for allegedly shooting Detective Jeffrey Griffin. Harmon was on the run for a day until police arrested him in a home on Milwaukee's north side. Former Saved by the Bell actor Dustin Diamond will spend the night in jail for the next four months. A judge handed down a 120-day jail sentence for Diamond's role in a stabbing at a Port Washington bar. To think that one bad decision made in haste, be it ever so noble, could potentially ruin a lifetime of living right has made me see my life in a completely different way. Now, Diamond must report to jail by Sunday. He can leave for work during the day, but he must sleep at the jail every night. The U.S. Supreme Court has saved President Obama's Affordable Care Act. In a 6-3 vote, justices upheld insurance subsidies under that health care law. This was the second time in three years the high court denied a legal challenge that could have stopped the program. Time now to check on your Summerfest forecast. Here's meteorologist Jesse Ritka. Well, Summerfest for us started in the 80s, and well, now it's much, much cooler. Now, take a look back to last year, though. The first two days of Summerfest stuck in the 60s with all of the fog. Remember, kind of pushed those fireworks back a few days. Well, 2013, well, felt a lot more like summer in the 70s and upper 80s on day two. Then you go back to 2012. That was that scorcher for Summerfest. 93 on the first day, 96 on the second day. For us this year so far, well, day one, 80 degrees. Today, 10 degrees cooler. And of course, we did have that little round of rain that swung on through. And that, of course, kept us mainly in the 60s throughout the afternoon. But again, high temp on the Thursday, well, 70 degrees, about 10 degrees cooler than we were supposed to be. Could see an isolated shower or two as we go throughout the rest of the evening. But the main focus will be down to the south as far as showers, thunderstorm development down there south of the warm front where all the heat is, where all the humidity is, also where the jet stream is going to continue to bring the active weather down to our south. For us, just a slight chance of an isolated shower tomorrow, kind of a little unsettled atmosphere for us, but then we get into Saturday. High pressure pushes on in that will push the cloud cover away and we'll be looking at a lot more sunshine by the time we get to here Saturday for the rest of the evening, though again, a chance for an isolated shower overnight, looking at mostly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, a very light wind. Then tomorrow mix of sun and clouds at times by the afternoon could see an isolated shower or even a stray thunderstorm. Most of that activity should be off to the west for Summerfest, so it should be a drier day, but still going to be a cool one with that northeasterly wind on Saturday, the winds continue to be from the northeast, so we will continue that cooler by the lake trend, but they start to crank up. It will be a little bit breezy on Saturday afternoon. Notice not a whole lot going on in future forecasts, which means we're looking at a mostly sunny day, and it's going to at least feel and look a lot nicer, even with that breeze. Sunshine does a lot with the moods. Overnight, though, 57 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and again, seasonably cool temps. Those are going to be the trend throughout the seven-day forecast. For your day on Friday, 67. Yeah, a little bit on the cool side for Milwaukee. 74 away from Lake Michigan. Again, it's still a chance for a couple of those hit and miss showers or even a stray thunderstorm throughout the afternoon hours. Not going to be a widespread event. Don't cancel any plans. If you're going to be going out to Summerfest, here's your timeline. At noon, 65 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. It's even mostly cloudy at 3 p.m., but I think by the time we get to the evening, some of those headliners could see a couple spots of sunshine before the sun sets. Your seven-day forecast. It's going to be just cooler than normal. Take our average high around 78 degrees, basically subtract 10. That's going to be the theme for our seven day forecast on Saturday. 70 degrees with mostly sunny skies away from Lake Michigan. 77 with those clear skies, though, overnight it will be cool. So definitely want to have the sweatshirts for the evening acts at Summerfest on Sunday. A little more heat, a little more humidity. 76 degrees showers and thunderstorms will be developing as that warm front bumps our temps up, and that will be a better chance in the afternoon and evening hours on Sunday into Monday. A cold front swings through that will bring a better chance for scattered widespread hit and miss rain showers 71 degrees so it gets cooler behind that cold front for children's fest